guys welcome to brains and the beat here on youtube if you're new please like comment share and subscribe hit that notification bell because you never might know when i upload with my busy four month old son he do what he wants so i upload when he allows me so if you're oldie but goodie thank you for staying tuned to your girl so it says a central village St. Catherine husband and wife may have been gunned down over a firearm that was seized by the police. Cops theorized. Security guard Fabian Hardy and his wife Nicolette, a customer service representative, were at home when criminals invaded the house and opened fire, hitting them several times. Nicolette died shortly after the shooting while Fa Fabian succumbed to his injuries a few days later. Police say they are following several leads into the brutal killing. One of the leads we're looking into is that the men is that the man and his wife were killed by criminals who blamed them for a firearm that was confiscated by the police in the community, a police source told the Loop News. Clever Beard, a senior superintendent in charge of the St. Catherine Police Division, South Police Division, in which Central Village Falls, confirmed that the police were looking into the report. It is something we have received a report about and are looking into, Blair said. Sources said that the victims before they were killed were accused of passing on information to the police about an illegal firearm that the police managed to seize. Wow. As a result, the two were threatened and in fear of their lives were escorted from the community by police. But the couple reportedly returned to their home at about 4 p.m. last Monday. About 7.30 p.m. the same day, residents reported hearing explosions in the area and it was later discovered that the couple had been attacked and shot. So they are allegedly being blamed for a illegal gun in their community being seized. And I don't know why why jamaica conservative force always paying pawns with jamaican people's life like i do not get it i don't understand it if they reported a gun in the community as being illegal and gave the jcf valuable information how do these criminals even know that these were the two people that gave the JCF information. Obviously, you have a mold in that police department. Obviously, somebody in that police department is working with these criminals. And then when Jamaican people don't give information, stay quiet and stick to themselves when things like this happen, don't say a word they also get blamed so you're stuck between a rock and a hard place you're trying to become be a good citizen and being a good citizen being a good resident of your community gets you killed like that is crazy crazy and the sa the same day they return home is the same day they got killed if they knew that these people's life were in danger, if they feared for their life and these couple went to them and told them that they're being blamed for this, why didn't they put them in witness protection? But they had the time, resources, and money to put jurors that were in Vibes Cartel's case in witness protection and send them to the U.S. No. No. Talking about how they feared for their life and they fear that um, they were going to get killed after being jurors in the Vibes Cartel case. And now that they're backpedaling and talking about they want to go home and all these things overseas wasn't the bed of roses that they thought they were. It was. When real people like these couple right here need the resources from the JCF like witness protection, they cannot get it 
But when people are playing around with Jamaica justice system, they get witness protection. They get the resources that the Jamaica Constabulary Force have to offer. I find that very, very weird. And quite honest, honestly, the police department in that particular area, Indocom needs to investigate. Because obviously there's somebody in there relaying information back to these criminals. And that's why they lost their life. Condolences goes out to the family and anybody that knew them. And also if they had kids, that is going to be heartbreaking, heart-wrenching to know that your both your parents died. So condolence goes out to the family members, the co-workers, the associate, everybody in that community. This is getting ridiculous and more ridiculous by the day. So comment in the comment section and tell me if you think that Indocom need to actually do an investigation into that particular police department. And if you think that somebody in that police department is relaying information to criminals. Do you think that, that this couple deserved to be in witness protection? Comment all your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.